Alright guys, so some people have asking how I do this uh, shout out command, so let me just show you real quick. This is this program is called Mix It Up. It's uh, recently we transferred, been transferred from Mixer to Twitch. So once you guys install it, you need to enable the preview program, which you'll get through here. So you go to the, the gear settings, general, enable preview program. Then you have to in, uh, restart, there's gonna be some updates, then it's gonna work for Twitch. If you have any other issues, just you know, message me and I got you. Uh, but once you get that done, you're gonna go to commands. There should, there's gonna be, you're gonna have uh, pre-made commands, but when you go to custom commands, it's gonna be empty for you guys, right? So you wanna go to new command, advanced, and then from here, you're gonna just name it whatever you want, shout out. This is what you see, it's not what people use. Um, and then you can put it in, you can make a group here. So I put it so my mods can use it, so I have it in my mods group. So I'm just gonna put shout out test. And then this is what you name the command, what the command's gonna be. So for me, it's gonna be SOT because this is uh, my test one. Cause I already have one that's SO. So you do not, like right there it says no exclamation mark needed. All right, so from here on, I'm gonna be explaining how to do this with Mecca. He's gonna be here with me and I'm gonna be guiding him how to do this. And I'm gonna pull up my, pre my uh, made one already. Just You're help me, all right? So. All right, Mecca. So now I'm just gonna get started. Try to keep along. Um, I can answer your questions afterwards, but you know you're gonna be watching me do this, so it should be pretty simple for you. All right. So uh, to begin, you go to your three marks, scroll down to services. You're gonna go to overlay, and then you're gonna click on this link, copy that URL. Then you're gonna go um, to your OBS and save, use that URL to make a browser source. Once that's done and you have it in there, name it whatever you want as a browser source and take that name and put it in here. Uh, when you complete that, hit test connection. It should tell you how many connections were uh, made for your overlays. Cool, you're good. Um, and then when that's done, you want to go to the gear, go to overlays, and then make some overlays here because you're going to need a few for the shout out command to work. I have one named shout out already and I want I have one named shout out back to so give me like a a, a back background for the text to make it a little easier to read. Um, same thing, we'll get back to this but you're going to want to use those URLs soon. But let's get started with the commands. So commands going to basically be so mecha this is where you're going to try to keep up with. First you're going to make an overlay so you click on action Scroll down to where you see overlays. Okay. All right. Overlay All right. images and videos. Yep. And then you hit add. Okay. And then you want to do, I believe it's going to be, yeah, an image first. So image. And then for the, for the type is an image and then overlay to use. Save it as shout out. Because that's what we named it before. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, and then what you want to do for the, the file path slash URL. So this is a special identifier that um that mix it up has. So you're gonna type dollar symbol, right? Target user avatar. So basically target. Yeah. Uh it's dollar symbol target user, user avatar. avatar. Yeah, and this is what they use um for their to to pull from Twitch through Twitch's API, I believe. So you just have that there, and then for your width and pixels, what I have it mine set to is 800 by 800. Okay. And I left it as the screen position simple, but you can always, you know, be, you can adjust it yourself even more by going to percentage or pixels. I have mine as simple because that works for me. And then however long you want to keep it, I have mine for five second duration. Yeah, that's good enough. Fade in, fade out. Um, and then none for visible animation. The reason why I made mine fade in, fade out is because I have, I'm cropping the avatar's image so it comes out as a round object instead of, by default, they, they pull it and it's a square image. I wanted to make yeah. it look nicer, so I made it round. Um, and just to give you guys a little test to see how it looks like, I'm gonna run it on my stream real quick. As you can see there, my image is round and my, my name is underneath it. And then it, my chat bot says something with the link for the user. All right, so going back to this, that's done. So you can uh, click on the, the purple bar, you know, it says overlay, so that it minimizes it. Uh, purple bar. Yeah, like where it says overlay, the one you just made. You see on my oh. screen what I'm doing? Yeah, wait, let me... 
All right, and oh, then you're gonna okay. Then you're gonna be moving on to the next one. The next one is also I mean, so make another one, right? Do I I save that right? The one I just made. No, obviously. you don't have to hit save. Just just it's this is all in the same. So do I just close it out? No. All right, just just try to I guess watch what I'm doing on Discord, and okay. then you can I'm basically sorry, watch the video lost. and. Yeah, no worries, no worries. So let me. All right, so you just made this one right here, right? Yeah. You gotta click there to minimize it, and then you're gonna open another one at it. You're gonna go image. Whatever you name the second one, I named mine yeah, SO back. Up. And then I have a, a image I use. Let me just copy and paste the URL. Basically, I use on Photoshop to make a a black border. Um, let me actually even open it just so I can show you guys what it looks like. Just something I can use. So you can see it's, the, it's a black rectangle, right? In there, I, I sized it perfectly for the name length that I wanted. I'm just gonna put that there. And this length, I made it bigger so that it could fit longer names and the height I made 150. Oh, okay, yeah, so basically you're, you're gonna watch this video step by step and you can do it at your own pace. And yeah, because you, can... you, you still, you like, when you said to minimize it, you kind of lost me. <laughs> okay, um, my bad, dude. <laughs> like, I know what it means, but like, I don't know how to like do what you just did. I was watching it and I still like. No worries, no worries. I mean, it's, it's, it's a hard, it's, this bot's way more complicated than a lot of other bots, but it's so much more powerful. All right, so once you finish with the overlay, the second one, you it's image, SO back is what I named it. Image was the shout out one, which is the black rectangle width, 1100, height, uh, 150, duration, five seconds, fade in, fade out, and pulse. Once again, we're gonna close this one, and then we're gonna open the other one, and this is gonna be the person's oh, okay. name. All right, so this person's name is gonna be, Give me a text. I, I get what you do. Okay. And we're gonna make it text. Boom. Also going to SL back. And this time it's gonna be the person's name that we uh, put in after the command. So we do exclamation mark SO space. Whatever name we type, that's gonna be the target username that they're gonna search. So once again, I sized all this up already. Um, you, even though they give you default font settings here, you can type what you want. So for me, 68 worked. Um, and then I just chose, I believe, color black. Yeah, black, because I, I made it, uh, I made two text ones. One that gets on top of the other one, so it gives it a nice 3D effect. So black. You guys aren't gonna have the same press start to player font I have, so you can look for another font you want and then just adjust for the size. Um, but for me, that's what I use. Because I, I installed it through the internets. Boom, made it, make it bold, make it underline. And then for the position, this was where I made it different because I had to size everything right. I believe I made it, what, 50, 51 by 52. So I mean, Mecca, this is gonna help you too because that way you kind of, okay, I remember him doing this type thing and hopefully you'll get yeah, through the video faster. Yeah, I just faster. figured out how to, <laughs> How to minimize the uh, the one we did the first one? Yeah. And once again, the reason why I do fade in, fade out, and not some fancy animation where it slides in is because I'm cropping the image on OBS. I'm using a filter in OBS to mask it and cut it out from a square shape into a round shape. Um, and if you guys can find a better way of doing that, so it doesn't look funky sliding in and getting cut out at the same time, then go ahead. But for me, I have other plans that I'm going to be doing to make this look even nicer which I'll be adding right after I'm done with this. So we're gonna add another one. Basically, since we already did this one and the second one's gonna be a copy of it, we're just changing the color. We're just gonna hit the duplicate right here and it's gonna be, an, a, everything's gonna be the same. The only thing we're changing is um, the color. So I'm gonna make it blue for now. And we're gonna do um, same size, I believe. Oh, actually, it's just going to be center. So, so for, for shout out back, you just put a dollar symbol target username. Yep. Because nice. we want the, the it's a text and it's type and we want it to pull the, the guy's name or the person's oh, name. So the, the type is not image, it's text. Yeah, it's text. And then next you add whatever sound you guys want to add. I'm not going to add one to this one, but it's basically from the actions you pick sound. 
you hit the plus symbol, it's gonna be here, and then browse to whatever sound effects you want. I keep it the default and then adjust the volume to whatever you feel comfortable. I'm not gonna have one for this test one, but that's how you do it. And then chat message. So you add action chat message. It's used, it's like, uh, yeah, it's on the top. Add it, and then you can make it say whatever you want. So for me, I'm just gonna copy and paste what I already have. And for me, it's checkout at target username or dollar sign target username. So it pulls their name and then at dollar sign target URL. So it pulls their Twitch URL and then last scene playing dollar sign target user stream game. So it'll show the last game they were playing and then, you know, whatever custom wordage, you know, you want to use. And that's honestly it. I recommend, you know, making up here permissions. So you want to click that and make it so either only you can do it or your mods. So I'm going to put mods. And then individual person group. Individual, if that means if anyone does it, it's basically a global cooldown per person. You know, it's per individual. It's, it's weird worded. It's weirdly worded, I know. But uh, I keep it at zero because it's only my mods can use it and I doubt they're going to spam it. Uh, does it cost any currency? No. No. And no. So... From here, all you would do is on OBS, add the browser sources for the overlays, which we have back here under, let me take that a little slower. So when you're in the main chat area, right? You wanna go click on the gear. The gear is always gonna be there in the top right. Click that. On the left side, you're gonna see overlays and you're gonna have your two shout out ones you made. You're gonna click that. And once again, copy that link. You're gonna take that link and paste it into OBS, wherever you want. So I'm gonna make a test one. One second. So I'm actually gonna lose some audio for a quick second, guys. My bad. All right, so um, for the shout out back, all you're gonna have to do is, you know, paste the URL in the URL section, the width and the height, make it the exact um, numbers that I gave you before uh, when you were making it, and then make sure you check, oh, shut down and refresh. Make sure those are checked. And do, that the, sa do the same thing for the shout out one, and then basically you just size it how you want, and then when you're done, it should come out something like, this. I did my alpha bot. You have OBS open? I don't see the. Yeah, I have OBS open right now. You 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 can't see it because uh, then oh, okay. if I put it on screen, then it's gonna do that whole you know inception okay. thing. But oh, that's okay. basically the guide, guys. Um, if you need any other help, let me know. I'm gonna be adding more to this. I'm gonna add some effects. I'll go with it to make it cooler, make it a better transition in there. Uh, but yeah, there, this this bot is really powerful. Um, just like a quick thing that some of you coders would appreciate and think is awesome is the um, the ability to add conditionals. So for my slap command that only mods can use. You can add a con conditional that if who they're targeting equals my name, it doesn't work. If it's anyone else's name, so it does not equal my name, then it works. And action groups are kind of like commands but they don't run they can be called for commands they're like they're, they're like objects in coding right uh, hopefully I, I describe that correctly so here my action groups i have no slap and slap basically it does something and the other command conditionals right if it equals my name it plays this command if it doesn't equal my name it'll play that one so this bot you can see is really crazy it can do a lot of stuff um let me know if you guys need any help that's it Bye.